Hi. We'll just continue. Kind of want to uh, reach my goal today, which is kill the lich. Look at this. Uh, do I need to look at this before I play, or is it? You know what? Might as well. Might as well. <laughs> is it you beating the lich already? I I bet it is you beating the lich. No. Okay. Um. Wait, what? Um, these are rocks. These are mountains. This is the future mountain peak. And this is the edge of the game board, I guess. It is wisdom. Why did you not put it here? So that you can surround it from, from here as well. I guess there. Yeah. I don't quite understand. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whereas if we had put it here, it would be one, two, three, uh, four, four, like a lot more. Most efficient, I think. Why is this not the most efficient? You can surround it from all sides this way. If, if this was the peak, we had to pro gamer diagrams. It's it's not about what it, how it looks like. It's about the efficiency. That's right. What is important is using rocks for peak. I thought they were exactly the same. Why mountains for everything else? I'm gonna have to take a look at that. What it is the difference between rocks and mountains? <clears throat> okay. Um. Oh, Mr. Music. Is it still sped up? It is still sped up. Still sped up, okay. This is what peak efficiency looks like, that's right. Rocks, 2 HP, and 2 more HP for every adjacent rock or mountain. Actually, let's, let's put battlefield down for the chest immediately. I thought about beacons, and I don't think beacons make a lot of sense because I assume the enemies get harder with every loop. Affects enemies level, affects the level of equipment found. And the quicker I walk, the more loops I do, obviously. But I kind of want to reach... Like, the boss spawn with as few loops as possible. So I want many weak enemies rather than a few strong where I have to walk a lot. So I'm gonna try to put down a lot of enemies early on. So I can farm them, basically. And yeah, that's gonna be my uh, strategy for today. I don't know if it holds up, to be honest, if I'm like, mistaken on this one. I still only have rocks, okay. I can't... Okay, I can't uh, lock in the rocks. Here we go. Ooh, that's juicy. That's a juicy meatball. Still only have rocks. What if you tell me I should do it with rocks? I can do it over here. No mountains yet, so I can't tell if there's a difference. Very bad cards, to be honest. Very bad cards. Fight a skeleton in a second. Oh, another chest actually. Yeah, no. And a skelly boy. Here you go, mountains. Oh, oh, okay. So rocks give me 2 HP flat, but they give 2 more for every adjacent rock or mountain. While mountains give 5 for every adjacent rock or mountain. So it's like a net positive of 1 compared to the rocks. So I don't really want to place rocks down. I want to use the rocks, cheap as they are, for... Oh, I thought they did the same. I must have been mistaken. I must have misread it. 
I want to use the rocks for the mountain peak. Yeah, that's right. I don't know why no one told me earlier. You don't have to hurry fighting the boss, but it's my goal for today's stream, so I kind of want to. Okay, here we go with the Vampire Mansion. <laughs> I like the sound effects. But you didn't expect me. No, I didn't expect you to uh, like watch a stream twice in a row, Blaze. That's right. No, I, I don't expect anyone to watch two streams in a row, except for like the most hardcore um, like degenerates out there <laughs> among you. Like, I, I can expect some of you to watch me twice in a row. <laughs> oh. Very sorry. This is the only time slot I can watch. I'm glad you're here. Free time, it's weekend. Man, I wish I had free time due to the weekend. Okay, mountains. Now I need to be careful not to accidentally like the mountains. Right? So I'm gonna leave them for now. I need to place my my meadows as well. Maybe I should. Maybe I should just Maybe I'm not sure, actually. Maybe I should place my bacons after all. Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bake him. Who cares? I don't stay around for the whole stream, but I'm generally here. Yeah, that's what I would do. I think. Like, no, then again, if I, if I were to watch myself, I would tune out. Gotta be honest. It's hard enough already for me to watch back my own content sometimes. Um, 20% attack speed, like holy shit, uh, to watch back my own content when before I upload stuff. Because I always check whether I said something that might not be good to upload, basically. <laughs> or whether I did, a, did an oopsie. And like, yeah. I still sometimes miss stuff, but because I just zone out when I listen to myself, but that's hard enough already. Did I accidentally not equip some of the cards or something? Oh shit, as good as 20% attack speed is, this is literally a perfect, perfect armor with evasion and vampirism. One loop six already. And I still don't have a treasury. The spear is crazy though. 16 to 24, yeah, that's... Leaks better. Also need more rocks. Where the rocks at? Oh, here we go. Now it's finally happening. More battlefields. Because I need to prepare um, over here, of course. Um, there we go. The groves, of course. The groves. I remember now. Damn, I'm delayed. Yeah, that's what the doctors keep telling me. If there's no cute girl on your stream, I kind of tune out. Which is why you should invest on a Lambda Delta VTuber model. Man, if I'm gonna, like, if I'm gonna VTube, I'm, I'm not gonna pose as a girl. Like, holy shit, what? Do I want to place the other vampire I mentioned? Might as well. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, hmm. Well, no, nope. Earlier, I defeated Lich's seventh loop. Okay, I'm in my seventh loop. Finally, I get a road lantern. Wow. Um, I needed that. I think I'm about to place a few medals. Like... I need to take care of these two and this one still. But I, I want a blood growth. I'm just not sure if I have it equipped or not. So I'm gonna place some medals here because I have that many already. Kinda need it.
I like the slimes to be honest. Like slimes are fun. Ooh, here we go. Oblivion, but also some rocks. I need to be careful. If I fuck this up... <laughs> if I fuck this up, it's gonna use the mountains. But if I don't do it, like, they're gonna be gone anyway as well, so... I'm not too sure how to go on about this. Maybe like this. <laughs> Fuck's sake, give me a blood growth and the treasury, maybe! Do I want this? No. Not necessarily. Do certain items or certain things only drop from certain enemies? Is this the problem here? Maybe the blood growth only drops from the growth? I'm gonna do it like this now. I'm gonna start a second, a second one because fuck this. Now I can delete the fucking goblins. Oh, here we go, finally. Wait. Yeah, I can place up here. Okay, so I'm gonna. This. 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 Like this. Ooh, it's looking bad, actually. Looking kind of bad. What's going on? It's because this was a mimic. Here we go. Actually, this is better. Um, how much vampirism do I have now? 32. Only 9% evasion, okay. I like to think I'm a witch. I don't understand the point of fighting the boss in an early loop. The... How many loops am I supposed to take? What was the dude that was like uh, in the movie Looper? Oh, what's his face? Like his old version was played by Bruce Willis and the early version was like this... Oh, what's his name? Have any of you seen like the movie Looper? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Actually, I kind of want to... Shit, I want to play some stuff. No, 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 no. Wait. Wait! Uh, he has a peculiar name. I stopped using treasuries completely. What? Like, they're a good side effect, aren't they? Except for the harpies, I guess. Okay, here we go. We can place the rocks now as well. Like this this is the mountain top. And now, now see, we can place, like, with your placement, it would have been up here, but I can now place the mountains all the way around it. But thanks for pointing it out that they are different, because I guess I would have missed it. Also, I need to place something here still. Maybe another cemetery. I desperately need, need to top off my heal. My, my, my heal, my health. Um, do I switch? Yeah, I think I will. I think it will. Lost of evasion, but that's like dumpster breaks. I don't think I have the blood growth equipped. I think something must have unequipped. There we go. If I get the oblivion thingy, I'm gonna get rid of this. Uh, until then, I will. 18% vampirism. Mm, but I would lose all of my evasion, basically. I wonder if you could just out heal him. Like going full attack speed, full vampirism, or something, or full damage, full va vampirism. Okay, I don't want to place any rocks anymore, do I? I just want mountains, because every placement matters at this point. Kinda, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Okay, there's some new goblins down here. I don't really want to support them. So I'm gonna do this and. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Alright, let's see. All movies have Samuel L. Jackson. Now it's this other guy! <laughs> Looper with the young one! The, the dude that played Robin in, like, uh, the, the Batman Dark Knight series. He's a very, he has a very funny name. But it's, it's not 
Joaquin Phoenix. It's not the other guy with the funny name. Uh, Shia LaBeouf. It's not this one. Uh, it's not Robert Downey Jr. Why do they all have funny names? Fuck! Someone look up Looper! <laughs> uh, Samuel L. Jackson is the main character, more like the villain. Is he the villain in Looper? Wait, am I thinking of the right movie, actually? <laughs> Are we talking about different... Is the one you're talking about the one with Justin Timberlake? No. No, th th what's the dude that played Anakin called? It's a different... Oh, God, fuck me. R not Ryan Gosling, which is also a funny name, I admit. Why do they all have funny names? Why can't they be called, like, John Smith or something? Is John Blake a funny name? Blake is kind of funny, but John is, like, very vanilla, I would argue. Very vanilla. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson is not in Looper. Thanks for fact checking. Okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> oh god, this is this is nice. Um, I'm gaining health. S slowly but surely, I'm gaining health. Oh, finally a blood growth. I can't believe it. I do have it equipped. This is Bruce Willis. Is. Okay, Bruce Willis and who else? Dementia moment. <laughs> I was talking about Jumper. That's yeah. That's the one with with the like Anakin Skywalker in old. That's Jumper, and that has Samuel L. Jackson, and that is the one where he can like time rift around. But Looper is the other one where they sent their s bodies back to the future or <laughs> something. With Bruce Willis and... What's the other guy called? Joseph Gordon-Levitt! That's it! That's it, that's the funny name. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Levitt? Lewitt? I don't know. The past self is sent to close a loop or something. I, I have no fucking idea. You can also use rocks to make meadows bloom, but meadows are useless. So anyway. And also not necessarily useless. They do give you something. Oh shit, I need to pay attention to my weapons actually. Uh, because this weapon is strictly better than what I have right now. You're right, this bloomed three meadows now. Pretty good. 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 Good, good. Good. Very good. Oh my god, this weapon. Uh... Okay. How does it look on the old? Like 18 to 25? Not necessarily good enough. But we are topped up. Oof, 21% vampirism is very juicy. But it doesn't have anything else, so, uh. Nope. Okay. 15% evasion. That's a region, but I would lose defense and damage to all, which doesn't matter. So what's the earliest I should attempt to beat the Lich? I'm now on loop 9. Oh god, yeah. Yes, this weapon, holy shit. <gasps> it's everything I ever wanted, and it's a Dirk. I wonder if he can play basketball. Should, should I just knock it all out when I think I have the perfect equipment? Because right now, I like my chest could be better. But my my ring and my weapon are kind of carrying me, to be honest. A lot of, oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> it's the sound they make. Oh, here we go. Nah, that's not good, actually. What was that song? Oh yeah, small mountains please. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Now do I want to keep this oblivion? To... No, I, I think I kind of want to... To do this. The rock in the middle again. 
Uh, we're gonna lock this one. Wasn't there a better one earlier even? This one, 21. It's better actually. If you could equip and unequip, of course this would be like a different thing altogether. What if I just don't finish this treasury? Guess I don't get the stuff out of it. I kind of want to, to attempt him now. I feel like I'm good. Like if I were to spawn him now, maybe I'm gonna do... Where am I? Maybe I'm gonna do one more loop afterwards and then I'm gonna try to force spawn him, basically. Because I feel like I'm kind of successful right now. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I can make another chest spawn over here. Maybe get some good items in. Let's see. Matters are eh. Um, fact check is fact check my memes. I thought you were about to say fact check is fact check my anus. Uh, healing per day is alright to have, but it's not a very good source of healing. Whenever I feel like it, I guess. Especially for a night. Recommend having 50% or more evasion and a shitload of attack speed slash pure damage. Bosses just like enemies are weak on earlier loops, but so are you. Well, I, I'm, ha I'm gonna have to attempt it sooner or later, right? So after I'm through on this one, after I'm, I get through my camp. Because look, I'm not taking a lot of damage right now. This could change, of course. Oh god, it could change right now. Maybe I should spawn him now. I'm about to heal due to a... I think I'm gonna spawn him now. I'm gonna spawn him now if possible. Can I spawn him? You think I have enough? I think I have enough. If I don't have enough, like, I'm gonna have fucked up my map now, but that's, like, just how it is, right? Um. No, it, sh it should be enough. Okay, if I... Okay, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna, like, because I have, I'm... You know, I feel very confident right now, actually. And there's no uh, bitches palace around as well, I think, so... I'm gonna fight a few slimes on the way. Top myself up. See if I get anything good out of this. I'm gonna be very careful about the drops I get. Wow, the, the, the music track is just so good though. This one. Okay. Wow, it's a lot of HP, but sadly I need the vampirism. And 7 pure damage is not, nothing to sneeze at either. I think. Oh, pardon me. Okay, doggies. Do I get out of this mimic? Oh, a shame, really. A shame if this had, like, evasion and vampirism. It would have been great. Okay, I'm about to fight the lich. I can either run away now or, like, try my best. Last time I had, like, 300 HP. And similar stats, and I got him down to half health. So, um, like, pray for me, my little abnormalities. Is he gonna say anything this time? Or are we just. How is it possible? Shut up, we've just got to settle. Hit evade too? God, he's like hitting me every other time, basically, which makes sense. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> so close to 100 HP! <laughs> Nonsense! This is impossible for so many reasons! Is he is he vomiting like stars? This comes really close. Jesus Christ. I don't understand. Now put everything back the way it was. Can't already completed my task, even if the result is not perfect. So he's not the big bad, is he? You're in no position to refuse a sack of bones. It's already received everything I could gather. Just wanted to see how a crusade against the universe would end, to witness what would come of it. My process is no longer required. Who is he? Who are they? Who? Get it, you're connected somehow, right? That's why. We'll find out soon enough. 
this anomaly will not escape his attention. My explanation would be meaningless to you now. So spare me a wheezing and just die and give me a loot. If that sack of bones was telling the truth, I have a long journey ahead. I will build my whole world from scratch if I have to. And the skull of that monster will be the first brick in its foundation. This could very much be like a, some kind of Isekai light novel, to be honest. <laughs> Wait, I do get an item out of him. What's the point of this? Uh, my reward is some resource assortment. Okay. The boss has been defeated, but your journey doesn't have to end. You can retreat to the camp with all your findings, but remember, the world will forget all your deeds. Always forgets. Retreat, you get to keep all... I can always retreat later. I, if I if I knew how good this item... I can continue on a little bit. No, actually, I just fucked my map, so I'm gonna retreat. I'm gonna retreat. I'm, I'm gonna build some new stuff. Everybody, listen. The bitch is dead. The curse has been lifted, but... What? What lich and what curse? I believe you, of course, but I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't rem remember the dead sorcerer? The one with the fur coat and scepter? Sands? Shrouded in nebulas, floating above the world on big shining wings, consuming it piece by piece? It's strange. Everything here does look the same. Why? I guess he wasn't the only reason for this darkness then. Hmm. That skeleton mentioned him. Whoever he is, he must have something to do with this the liberation of the world obliteration rather uh, it seems i have no other option but to continue my expeditions kind of wanted to end today's stream after beating the ledge so shall we just call it quits let's not let's build some stuff uh i can build oh god i can build everything now well, well, i say everything i can build a gymnasium i can build a refuge and i can build a herbalist set. Mixed dried herbs and brew healing potions, which heal 4% of my max HP, and I can take up to 3 potions with me. Two potions are refilled at the camp. Unlocks the swamp card. Or the refuge unlocks a new class rogue, which sounds like fun. And a gymnasium. Gymnasium? Gymnasium. Unlocks the ability to gain special traits for killing enough enemies during an expedition. Unlocks the village. Like, special traits. That sounds like either refuge or the gymnasium. Build a gymnasium. Can we build something else? Hmm, I see you don't have to wreck your brains for old facts if you could just learn them again. Nice trick. There's no trickery here. Without education, we would degrade into savagery. You know, we could also learn something new. We could all get together and share our useful knowledge and skills. Why is she so. I still. Like, why is she Billy Eilish? I don't understand. Why is she so out of it constantly? Couldn't they have given her, like, Irish seas or something to make her look focused? Every now and then? No, I've already know all I need. I'll leave lessons to the lessons to the kids. And here's the first lesson. Learn to enjoy learning. That would make life easier for you and me, Bo. What's your investment in me now? Oops. Can I build the other one too? No, I'm missing wood. I can build a herbalist hut though. Which I guess I will do. Oh my god, it's Baba Yaga. It's a miracle we could find some fertile soil and, by a miracle, save some seeds of precious healing herbs. I can... Oh, I guess I could give her some seeds, but do I want to? But the real miracle is that all these healing poultices and balms still have some effect. Yeah, we already lost many people because of the cataclysm. Would be nice not to lose more to any diseases. And these potions can help you as well. Take a vial or two on your trip, and your chances of getting back in one piece will be much higher. Okay, Baba Yaga. Um, uh oh my, okay. That's an angel, I guess. Um, Robbie Williams would like that. Do we want to do this one again, just to farm some wood? What, what exactly do we need? Yeah, we need wood and food now, I guess. Or we could build a farm, actually. I have enough for this one. <laughs> do I want to save up for the refuge or do I just build a farm? Farmer's crops are always a welcome sight on a dinner table. All empty tiles around the farm are transformed into gardens after an expedition. Gives you one ration of every completed loop. For every completed loop, but not more than there are garden tiles around the farm. You can build something over the garden. Unlocks the ability to craft food if the supply depot is built. Unlocks the wheat fields card. Okay. Um... Like this would be one, two, three, uh, like five, six, if I build it here. This is the best, I think. 
this is the best. Okay. Did you notice how strangely this oblivion affects our senses? Yeah, you all look drugged up. Hunger, for example. You could go for days without food and you still wouldn't be hu won't be hungry. So that doesn't mean you should quit eating altogether. Our farmer swears he'll be able to grow some stable crops, but it will take some time. Curious to see what he can grow without any sunlight. They should all die off. Like, what do you get without any sunlight? Which sickness? Is it... Um, like the rickets or something? Not entirely sure. I've seen people saying potions are amazing, even though I think they're kind of useless. Mm, okay. I don't think building a refuge is a priority. It gives access to rogue class, but it's hard to make it work this early. Rogue is based, it's my favorite class. <laughs> Lack of vitamin D? Yeah, but... <laughs> There's a joke there, okay, that I'm not gonna make. Everyone can think one up themselves, please. <laughs> We're gonna do... Oh my fucking lord. I have a trait deck now. However the fuck this works. How do I choose which one I want? The one that I want. The one that I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I guess maybe I have to... Do I have to unlock them first or something? Okay, my regular deck. I now have village, wheat fields, and swamp, which I knew. The village would heals me 15 plus 5 times loop upon entering. It gives me a quest, apparently. <laughs> That's some good healing. If I place these around the map. Wheat fields can only be placed next to a village. Okay, so it's like you need both if you want to have the full eff effectiveness. Five times loop HP to healing in adjacent villages. Spawns a scarecrow every four days. And the swamp spawns a mosquito every three days. All healing effects are lethal here. Except for the potions, they are still on your side. Healing effects are lethal? Why would I ever want this shit? I guess it's good against vampires. Or maybe the new boss will heal himself. Itself, herself, themselves. You need a picky trade, otherwise your chances of getting good gear are abysmal. Swamp is shit! <laughs> what do I take out for the village and wheat fields? Will this number ever ever increase? I, I gotta say, I'm not really feeling the chrono crystals. Not really and beacon as well. Fuck the beacons. Fuck bacon. So I guess I can't really pick anything yet. Since I let's let's do a um, a trial run with what we have right now. Okay. I feel more confident now. Kind of. Let's. It's already as quick as it can be in combat. Okay. Uh, what what did we? Whoa, 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 what is this? Health and XP points? Okay, I guess it's because of the trade thingy, I guess, then. Oh yeah, baby. Look at this. Let's start my my rock venture already. Where? Down here. Did I not take out the vampire mansion? I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Okay, let's get some vampires then. Let's get vampires going. I need to drink something. Traits are unlocked by beating enemies. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm... I'm like... Um, do I use this if I click on it? Or? Now, gives me a quest is to... Really interesting part, isn't it? Pardon me, I needed to drink something. Um, <clears throat> also, heals me for every adjacent. Like, if I heal here, it would make sense if I heal exactly halfway through. So I'm gonna put a village here. Because I'm gonna put a grove here, a grove there. Um, let's see. Does this tell me how much it heals me? 25 HP upon entering? Oh, 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 okay. Okay, I didn't know that. 
I thought fields would be like like outside, but they're on the on the ground. It makes sense since well it spawns a scarecrow, but it could push it well, whatever. Wait, so if I go by this logic Over here would have been the best, right? Because these two and these two would have been adjacent? Or over here? Well, okay. You, you you learn. Corona crystals are great with meadows. They double the healing effect. Yeah, but... Just, just to use them for that? I'm not sure if it's worth it, to be honest. But I'm also not the smartest guy, so... <laughs> it, it could be worth it. Could be... Very well worth it. Okay, let's see. Yes, okay. Uh, do I want... I want more rocks. Give me rocks. Or give me that. Oh, here we go. Treasuries. Oh, careful to accidentally. My rocks. I'm gonna keep them just in case I get another treasury. Well, it's a nice sound he makes when he heals up. Okay, now I can basically. Oh, the different tiles? What? what why is it flashing when I put it here? Alright, it didn't tell me that. <laughs> a bandit camp. Masters of trading their poverty for someone else's life. Spawns abandoned on an adjacent tile every two days. Bandits prefer villages. Appears for every two village tiles. Wait, what's going on? This is a ransacked village. Oh god, it has... Okay, it has a combination effect with the vampires. Um, the farmers... That's why it flashed, I guess. The farmers couldn't fight off a hungry vampire. They could still fight off... Fight you off, though. Spawns up to four ghouls once per loop. Transforms into something useful after three loops. Oh, okay. So I just need to clean it up. Oh my good lord. Oh, free loops! I might as well do that. If I do it early enough. It's great, actually. It's not too bad. Trolled. <laughs> Ghouls go, ah! I go, ah, in a second. Come on. Quest done. Okay, that was my quest. Did it tell me anywhere? Does this village give me another quest then or? I'm not gonna finish this meadow yet because I don't have an oblivion card to delete it. Uh, however, I will most likely put a road lantern here to, g to get rid of some bandits. I'm not sure whether the bandits are strong or not. Oh, okay, I can really only place it adjacent. Like, adjacent as in, like, right next to it. So I can't place the wheat fields here. So the best you can get is two? Which means... You get, a, you get the... Uh, the most you can get out of the wheat fields is, like, plus 30. Oh, God, this is getting complicated now. It looks so dumb. It looks like I don't know what I'm doing here, but it's just so I can place them without having to worry that I fuck it up. Okay, let's see. Yes, vampirism, please. The empowered enemy gets a little crown. I guess I just defeated an empowered enemy. Okay. When you talk with a vampire, mention them taking care of lands. Remember that? Yeah, I do remember. Okay, look, I got the Oblivion, so I can finish this now. And get rid of it. Okay. Hey, I don't remember you. You don't look like a local. Uh, that's because I'm not. I see. And you think you can just wander these parts without consequences? Times are rough, you know. Nothing to bite, nothing to wet one's whistle. And we have to deal with strangers who have no sympathy for our poverty. Well, you can suck my dick and I can piss down your throat if you want to. What? You think you're better than us? Uh, yeah. 
Did I guess right? Is this the correct answer? Because I'm getting the impression that this is one of those cases where my answer has zero influence on what happens next. Well, you've got insight. That's the only thing you will keep today. Ah, oh, they suck donkey balls. Look at this shit. They evade a lot, but other than that... And they attack quickly. They're living and they have a soul as well. <laughs> Easy! Come to think of it, uh, murderers and thieves are part of this world too. My mission is to return everything back to normal. Should I be happy they're appearing again? On the other hand, being disgusted with murder and theft is also part of this world, so I guess I don't know a way to anyone to be happy. How many beings have I killed so far, actually? <laughs> I'm, I'm being really two-faced here. Okay, Scarecrow, let's take a look. It's an artificial life. High damage, but nothing else, I guess. Ooh, gives good loot, actually. Oh, look at this perfect shield. Yeah, yeah, okay. Actually, a field. I need more rocks. Lambda, you leveled up top mid right, it's blinking. Top mid right. Oh, here! Oh! Oh, I can choose this. Uh, wow, well, okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I once made a loop full of villages and manors. Was fun and taken forever. I have to choose a perk. Okay. Article of protection. After receiving this trait and at the start of every loop, the hero receives 65% of his max HP as a phantom shield that persists between battles. Damage to phantom shield ignores defense. Mm. Supplies! The hero leaves 10% of his findings in the camp while when passing through the campfire at all. Oh, that's interesting. That's when you think you're gonna die. <laughs> Survivalist, if your HP drops below 30%, your regeneration is doubled. I can't really have a region of 0 0.6. But it could be what makes or breaks it. Because I think like this is gonna be gone so quickly. If it would regenerate in a village as well, that would be great. <clears throat> but since it's only at the at the campfire, it's dog shit. This is for when I, when I think that I won't be able to defeat the boss, or that I won't be able to retreat before defeating the boss. Which is no, oh, it's no. I'm gonna take survival list. The first one is the best. I love it. Take the first trait. It's free. Kill the lich. Oh wait a second. It triggers when I enter to kill the lich. Well, yeah. Then it's. Really, like a no-brainer, you're right. I didn't think of that. Well, <clears throat> not the smartest guy around, as I said before. <laughs> not the smartest guy. Okay, uh, give me a second. Damn it. <clears throat> now, these wheat fields are kind of useless now, <laughs> to be honest. Especially as long as I don't get another... Um, village. I think one more loot and then, I, then I'll have this cleaned up. Was it cleaned up already? Oh, look at that. Exactly the amount of rocks I need. Great. Oh, still ransacked. Okay. Okay, if I can keep the shield going, like the whole loop, I'm basically never gonna drop down anymore, will I? Hmm. Oh. oh my god, two oblivions. Might as well. Ah oh, shit, I didn't want to do that. Well, might as well. It doesn't matter. In the grand scheme of things, it really doesn't matter too much. I can keep the goblins going too. The bandit camp is not too bad either. I'm gonna keep this one for now. Uh, I need to place something here and here still for the Lich's Palace. Might as well put a grove here. Why do I? I do have a cemetery. Night is all about that sweet vampirism. Okay. 
Why didn't they bloom? Oh, yet. Okay. Okay, oh, I didn't take a look at my items in a while. Oof, that's sweet, isn't it? Like, attack speed and evasion. Attack speed and vampirism. 70%, 21%, but 20% attack speed. Which is good, I would argue. I wish mortals had interactions with each other, to be honest. Anything else I want to do? No. Not right now. The scarecrows are pretty good, to be honest. I kinda like them. Same amount of damage to all counter region. I'd lose attack speed, but get two more evasion, which is worth the thing. Again, I'm confident I can beat the Lich again, actually. Look at his weapon! If I'd gotten this later, it would, would have been great, but. Uh. Okay, this should be the third time I killed him now. Another battlefield. Bing! It's a ransacked village so far. Why is the music so eerie now, actually? Is there something happening? Transforms into something useful. Oh, after three loops, not after killing it three times. So as soon as I get through here, it will transform, I guess. This game is really like... It's killing me because there's so much to think about, actually. Oh, 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 it, oh, no, I didn't think of that. Well, it doesn't matter. Should, maybe, like, these goblins are a little bit worrying, to be honest. to delete this treasury because it's like it's triggering my autism now so did this oh yeah it, did it turn into an actual village i can't like let's take a look okay a road lantern is it's exactly what i wanted because i want to now if i put this road lantern here it will only affect this goblin camp right it won't affect this one but this one is already affected by one so i'm gonna put it here regardless um it's the Count's Lance now. Heals 140 HP upon entering and gives me a quest with a better reward. Oh! Okay, we're gonna do the quest then, definitely. Before I trigger the Lich. Oh, I got another trade as well. No one told me. Fuck goblins. I mean, if they're sexy, maybe. Shield Master. 10% chance upon hit of stunning target for one second. Seems good. Defense is increased by one after every loop. Seems good on paper, but since uh, I think the Lich ignores defense, if I remember correctly. Buckler. Every counter heals the hero for 1.5 times loop HP. Oh, that gives you another healing ability, basically. If you invest in it. That's a 10% chance to heal by... Um, eight basically. Oh, we have a ten percent chance to stun for one second. But this one scales with our counter stat. Second one is retroactive. Yeah, but like defense, you shouldn't use counter. I think if it, if you build full counter, this can be actually quite good. 
because it doesn't seem to have a cooldown. So if you heal by 10 with every counter or something later on, or maybe like even more. I'm gonna take Shield Master just to see how often it triggers. I'm curious. Oh god. I'm gonna get rid of 7 evasion here to get more vampirism. But get more evasion and lose vampirism. Oh no, this one has evasion and vampirism. No, I'm not gonna do either of them actually. Wait. The trade is upon hit. Ten percent chance upon hit of stunning target for one second. It's th them hitting me, right? So it scales with the amount of targets as well. Or is it me hitting them, stunning them? I don't know. I will find out. Maybe. I think I want to delete actually. Maybe. No, not right now actually. To be honest. Okay. The trigger twice here. Ooh, count. Count evasion and vampirism. I would say this is pretty much the perfect ring, to be honest, if I had taken the, the counter earlier, but even other than that, it's pretty good. It's a pretty sweet ring! I have 30% evasion, 24% vampirism. I could defeat the Lich right now. Every 10 hits you do is a stun, I think. Yeah, on average, I guess. Like, statistically, it should be. Wait, it's hits I do or hits I take? If you're building counter, you're on building evasion of vampirism. Yeah, I know, but it's kind of sad that these two stats are like the be all end all. Counter is only good if you're fighting a bunch of fast attacking enemies, otherwise, it's kind of useless. Counter uses stamina too. Okay. So there is somewhat of a of a cooldown then, if it happens too often. Because look at this combination already, shield and spear would, would give me like 30% count already, but now it, since I didn't take it I won't invest, don't worry. I'm not done. Well I am, but not that done. So it, it is me hitting them, not them hitting me. It's done. Slightly worse than I thought. My HP is very low, I think. I never said I wanted to defeat the Lich in this, in this run, did I? I want to do the quest here, though. Um, oh, 4 pure damage, 2 damage to all, 4% attack speed. A nice percent win for... Uh, I'm gonna love this one. so hard to like judge the worth of items of this. Oh hey! Wait! Am I using my healing potions? Am Why do I have zero? Heals you by 4% HP when your life is in danger. Oh! oh okay, so it just happens automatically. Well that's good, I don't have to think. And I love it when I don't have to think to be honest. It's getting kind of dangerous now, I gotta say. Hmm. It's getting kind of... Well... Maybe I should delete something after all. Did it give me the quest already? Can I tell which monster is my quest enemy? No, right? I can't. I think I'm gonna get rid of one goblin camp, to be honest. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not too sure about this. It spawns a bandit camp every two villages, right? I might as well put another village. Or well, not here, since... If I put it here, it won't be transformed. Like, this shows me that it transforms. Same here. But if I put it here, it won't transform. So I'm gonna heal here, I'm gonna heal here, I'm gonna heal here, I'm gonna heal here. Which makes every loop infinitely easier, hopefully? I don't know. I'm, a I'm about to enter, like, the kill zone down here, though. I'm not sure if I can survive this. The cemetery is really bad. What happened there? Oh, oh, there's the crown monster. Yes, okay, I see it now. Oh god, it's gonna kick my ass. Oh, thank god this is not a mimic, but the skeleton is killing me, I think. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm about to die. Oh my god, I, get, I did the quest. Oh, I survived. Give me a second. Give me a second. Um, I'm not gonna survive this though. I should just tuck my tail and run, I think. If I want to build something. I don't need to kill the lich right now. Let's see. Potions are used automatically. Uh, so trade and adds 20% of your death to attack. So it synergizes well with death trade you skip. They heal very little, so I feel like they don't end up making too much of a difference. Maybe for other classes, but for night they are quite useless. Well, they heal 4% of your HP. Which directly scales with your HP. Huh. And you just get them. There's no other investment other than building the, the alchemist. Or the swamp lady, so oh, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna run. I didn't run at all last time, I think, so I'm okay with that. Oh, I need more wood. I need more wood. I need a lot more wood, actually. Wait, what if I click the farm now? Can I? Is it giving me stuff? already or also what does it take to upgrade I can't upgrade anything okay. well this would only take suburbs card looks a smith's forge card this is two percent to potion healing effect two potions to carry with you it's pretty good if you invest in it, to be honest. We're gonna go on another lichy expedition. This time I'm gonna try to kill him. Now that I know how um, how villagers work, I think I'm gonna be better off. It's 8% more HP, what's the downside? Yeah, I don't really see it though. Uh, let me think. I do want the better quest reward. I'm gonna put a village here. I'm gonna put a village here. I'm gonna put a village here somewhere. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna do this one immediately. I think <clears throat> so. I can. Get the reward early on. <clears throat> now let's see if this is smart or not. Go for supply depot next. I'll try. Okay, I know the oblivion. Oh, look at this sweet ring. I want another vampire mansion actually. <laughs> Wait, how much does a regular village heal? The. The. The redeemed ransacked village healed 140 upon entering, didn't it? I might as well do it twice. 
I should have done it directly opposite of my... Oh, for fuck's sake. Hmm. Not too sure now, actually. Yeah, I know. I'm invested. I'm invested. Oh god, there's a bandit camp. Fuck this. <laughs> Fuck you, bandits. Fuck you. Okay. <clears throat> Good. Alright. Let's see. Whether this works out the way I want it to. We can now place the regular village over here. Bandits don't appear on council lands. It's a little bit too late for this information, to be honest. <laughs> that was. That would be like. That, that was great to know though, I'm gonna try to remember that, thank you. It's not your fault that the game is very obscure about stuff like this. Okay, ding. <clears throat> Battering Ram. The hero rushes into battle head-on. His first attack has a 75% chance to stun each enemy for one second. Hmm. Card Sharp. 10% chance to keep the card after placing its tile. There's only 10% chance. This is very random. Second thoughts. You will get a new choice of free traits. Doesn't cost a trait point. Is battering ram good? Otherwise, I'm gonna take second thoughts. Can I actually get, get out of this menu? I can. Okay. Wow, what a bad draw. Well, it's a good draw if I take this. Isn't it? Well, depending on what I get out of it. But still. So you would take the, the redraw? The mulligan, I guess? Um, let's take a look. I kind of like the battering ram, gotta say. If it dealt damage as well, that would be great. I only get second thought once. <sighs> Who cares? Uh, supplies, shield master and survivalist. Basically the same I got earlier. <laughs> Gonna take Shield Master again, I guess. I feel like better Ring Ram would have been better. Would have been a better Ring Ram. Anyway, who cares? Who really cares? I don't, necessarily. Since I'm about to heal up a little. Okay, yeah, look at this. A look at this. Always need to double check somehow. Alright. <clears throat> Do the wheat fields stack with the feudal feudal village or whatever it's Lord's Village or whatever it's called? They don't. That's a lot more damage. What happens if you place the Vampire Mansion after the village? It doesn't change, I guess. Interesting. Interesting, though. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, it's my quest enemy. Has quest goal plus 200% HP. So. Okay. Do I have more HP now or. I don't quite understand. Well. That's my life, I guess. Or do I get the reward after I enter again? I don't know. Now, do I delete the goblins out of here or not? Yeah. 
Oof. I love damage. I love damage. Delete. Delete what? Oh, the goblins, I guess. Oh, I'm tempted to just place a mountain here, finally, to finish it. Because that shit is annoying. Oh god. Oh. Okay. I need to place these shells here as well. To place two rogue lanterns here, I think, actually. Or vampire mansion, which I don't really want. Oh, finally. Finally! I got an achievement for something. Oh, also. Okay. Surveyor, each time the hero passes through a tile, he will heal for 0.5 times loop HP for each non row tile around it. So I heal by. With four loops, I would heal for two for every uh, tile that has not a row around. So I would heal for two here, I would heal for two here. And and so on, like here as well. I don't know if the camp counts as as um, road or not. Blade of Dawn. Every morning, the hero's sword is filled with sunlight, causing its next attack to deal two times damage to all. It's really weak if you since you can't control it. I'm gonna take Surveyor. Yeah, I'm gonna take some here. Even if it's wrong, even if people are gonna say, Oh no, Lambda, you didn't wait for us to tell you what to pick! I don't care, like, I know I'm, I'm, I don't make, like, perfect choices in life. Like, that's always been a thing for me. And it's okay. Still don't know exactly how survey works. I guess, like, here, as I said, like, this would be a heal, this would be a heal, and these are not a heal since they have roads around them. Well, it's wasteland, it's not a road. But I guess, it's still a road tile, isn't it? Um... Actually, what did I want? This okay. it triggers in the villages as well, since they're always surrounded by wheat fields, I guess. And I can make it even better if I put a cemetery here. That would be a lot of non road tiles coming up to the cozy camp. Um, I'm not gonna delete the treasury yet. Okay, I just upgraded my, my villages, I think, to Count's Lands. Is great. We should have done it here as well. I guess. Okay. Um. Yeah. Anything to delete? Not yet. I think. How do I look stat-wise? I don't have any vampirism at all, apparently. Currently just healing from my from my fields. Oh look, there's the quest. Um More evasion. Always good. Less evasion. Not good. Basically. Just another. <clears throat> Hello, hi Pyro. Hi. Does it count mansions sort of like? No, I think it only counts like the tiles on the roads. Let's read it up. Each time the hero passes through a tile, 
and you pass through a tile, basically on the tiles you can walk on, I guess, you will heal for half loop amount for each non-road tile around it. Oh, oh, you mean, oh, wow, okay, yeah, I see what you mean now, basically. Around it. So this would not only be... This would not only be two. This would be two, four, six, if I pass through this one here. It really depends on if it counts the ones on the diagonal as well. Like, the game is very unclear about this sometimes. But if it does count, like, that's incredible, actually. It's a lot of sustain just for walking around, I think. Hmm. Not too sure, though. Not too sure. Might have to switch out this one. Nah. nah it needs some vampirism. I will have to switch out this one, actually. Okay, here we go. That's what I wanted. Quest goal. Plus 200% HP. I don't get it. What does it do? Oh, it, it the monster has 200% HP, but what does the quest give me? Does it give me XP? It says quest done, but what does the quest do? Does it give me materials? It certainly doesn't give me any extra loot, I think. So, I'm not sure if I'm sold on the quest here. You get an item in the village. Okay, so I need to pass back again. I need to turn in my quest, basically. Is that what you mean? Hmm. Another quest. Get some more fucking lifesteal. It would be great. That was great. I just stun locked this fucker. Look at the attack speed 28%. So where it counts all tiles around it, just so it work with the road tile. Road lantern, I think it's called. Not sure about the diagonals, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure either, to be honest. Weird kind of sustainability right now. Even though I only have like 10% vampirism, not a lot of um, evasion either. 11% uh, evasion is sweet, but so is 24% attack speed. Do I want to grow here? I might as well. Double Oblivion. Do I get rid of this one and just build this one out? I will. Okay, that's what I wanted, kinda. Oh, 15% vampirism. Hmm. 
gonna spawn the lich soon, I think. I, I feel like I'm kinda done with this. I'm somehow healing a lot. Just by walking around. Again, why is the music so eerie suddenly? What did I do? No, and then again. Yeah. What am I doing? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I might as well use the oblivion now. Let me get rid of this one again immediately. Bless blissful ignorance deals you a full hand of oblivion cards. From now on, using oblivion cards heals hero by 10% of his max HP. Wow, okay. Another blade of dawn and supplies. Oh man, I don't know. Like, not too sure, to be honest. Oh god, do I want the full oblivion and, and I just and I just nuke my health up before I fight the lich? Could that work? Don't know where's blue when you need him. Do gargoyles offend you that much? Uh, somehow, I don't know why. I just don't like gargoyles very much, to be honest. Maybe because they're French. Are gargoyles French, actually? <laughs> I think they are, right? They seem French enough, at least. Um, not that I have anything against French people, but I do have a lot of against French gargoyles. Uh, I'm not sure what to pick here, <laughs> to be honest. I kind of want some better gear before I fight the Lich, though. Okay. Do I even have a single battlefield? <coughs> Baby loves crows somehow. Like, every time like a crow is mentioned in one of her books or somewhere else like she just loves him uh, maybe because she can also like say the German word for it that's why she likes it Oof, that's a lot of HP but not worth it uh, you can wait whoa, whoa, whoa. you can do you can abuse it for resources by destroying your peak and rebuilding it my peak the peak what The name derives from the French Gagarisse, which means what exactly? Like stone stone statue or something? Okay, why do you even know this arcane? <laughs> God damn it! Too smart. Too smart for school. Anything here? How much vampirism? I have more vamp I don't have any evasion at all, so I might as well Yeah, might as well do this. To get some evasion going. Mountain peak. Those are cool, I like them. Me too. The supposedly smart uh, smart animals. I don't know if it's true. I think they are. Oh, if I could get a good weapon going, I would spawn the rich no baby. And I hate French. I don't hate... I said I hate French gargoyles, okay? I didn't say I hate the French. Maybe a little, but er everyone does. <laughs> no, of course I'm just making fun and jokes here. Okay, it's all bands. 
It's mad bands, I know, but... Um... Fuck me, I need to build something. Also, still need to decide on the blissful ignorance. I think I'm gonna take it when I'm just shy of spawning the goblin... Not the goblin king. <laughs> the lich. And I destroy the monsters on my way, so I'm fully healed. I don't have to do anything when fighting him. But I'm not sure I can defeat him with my current getup. I have a lot of attack speed, but my vampirism and evasion is lacking. To be honest. You know, you know what? I might as well finish this one, to be honest. There's no point in holding back. I need to go all out. I'm gonna do one more loop, I think. Then I'm gonna spawn it. And if I make it good, if I don't make it, well, so be it. Been already streaming for like, what? An hour 20 already? Again? So, uh. This will spawn another bandit camp, right? You can somewhat circumvent it. Oh, great. <laughs> it spawned over here. <laughs> okay. Um. I feel like I was saying something and I forgot. But it's okay. I need, I need a little bit better gear, to be honest. I would even switch out my my chest now. Oh, look, a quest monster. Damage might be worth it. Losing a lot of vampirism, but I could get back some vampirism. This way. Okay, it's happening now. I'm getting all the items. Elevation and vampirism, yes, of course. It's really a fine line between how much you want of each stat. Okay. Um. After this loop, I'm gonna trigger it. I'm gonna place all the rocks and mountains I have in my position, possession. Because I feel like now I'm fine. 31%, 23%. Uh, I think I'm fine. I hope I'm fine. I don't know. Maybe I'm fine. Who knows? I might not be fine. I think I'm not fine. I think I'm gonna lose, but I don't care. Okay. Jesus Christ, kill the vampire first then. Good. Oh, great, a, ro a road lantern. There won't be a Lich's Palace anywhere. Um, I did really cure this village or whatever, but that's okay. So since I'm triggering him anyway, I can place everything. And now I'm getting blissful ignorance. Still don't get the game in its stats. Why don't you just take items that have better vamp or evasion? Well, you need to judge like the other stats on it as well, right? I also need to judge whether it's okay to lose out on 10% vampirism for 11% evasion or not. 
I need to have a certain threshold of vampirism to keep myself going at all times, basically. And same with evasion, really. But I think vampirism is more useful. But I could be wrong on this one. I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's take this one again. Okay. Um, now I get healed by 10% each time I use one. I'm gonna fight the ghouls here. I'm gonna see what I delete ahead of me. They don't really damage me, so. Since if I delete them, I'm not gonna get the loot. That's the problem. Now the next problem is, if I defeat enemies, they will get rid of my oblivion. So I might as well use up one or two. Yeah, here we go. Use up one or two. Um. Well, the next thing is, if I put it here, it's gonna get rid of the wheat field as well. Oh, fuck me. It's more complicated than I thought. We're gonna get rid of the cemetery. And we're gonna get rid of this grove. Which makes this a hungry grove, but who cares. Okay, actually... E uh, well... Yeah. Goblin King. We're about to fight him. The Goblin Leader, actually. He's raging! And rages after an ally dies. 30% damage done per battle. Attack the dog first, please! The Red Wolf, whatever. Good, okay. I feel like you can get counter very high. Oh shit, look at this. But we would lose up on too much damage. Okay, anything else I, I want to delete on the way. I'm gonna get rid of the sweet field over there. Like, four enemies at once is just... Oh, shit! Just too much. Um... I might as well... Wait. Give me a second. Do I want to delete the goblin camp? That's gonna spawn one goblin at most. Is it? Yeah, okay. Until I get there. The real problem is, like this part. And I might delete the growth corresponding to... Uh, which one is it actually? This one, right? Corresponding to this uh, blood growth to make it stronger and get the culling effect higher. The home stretch. Really hard somehow. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can maybe help out. Like this. I'm not gonna level up until I get there again, will I? 13% vampirism. Yeah, that's what I gonna think. Barely damage me, somehow. This music track is so good, it really gets you going. 36% attack speed. Why? Why does the game give you so much attack speed sometimes? Okay, now give me a second. I think I kind of want to get rid of this. Then again. Yeah, I'll take it. Mm. No. Tech speed is too good. Mm. 
Oh no, the pure damage. Again, too good. Oh god, suddenly items. Okay, let's see. Sorry, I haven't taken a look at what you guys wrote in a while. Uh, we're gonna get rid of... I might as well get rid of both, but I, I did want to get rid of this one. Make this into a hungry grove. Then again, I might I might have to get rid of it so I'm like full health when I reach the lich. But I need to place something immediately as well, so it's not the lich's, lich's palace afterwards. Okay. Um, you can clean up the road to the boss, it's awesome, yeah. How's it possible? That's right, you didn't... Wait, this conversation, I remembered, I killed him before. What the hell is happening? <laughs> killed me? It's I see, so that's how it is. Just his after image, not the original. You have no idea what you've done. <laughs> what I've done? How many more times do I have to do this world a favor by slicing you in half? I don't think you're able to comprehend this. I'm a part of the self-defense mechanism. One of the multitude of copies sent to other realities at the moment of death. My destruction cannot be undone, but in an endless series of attempts, different outcomes are possible. I defeated you once and I can do it again. Maybe. I'm not too sure about this one, actually. <clears throat> Since my sustainability this time was very much walking around. But then again, oh, we're doing fine. We're doing even better than before. Look at this. Half health remaining still. You could change nothing, but your victory won't change anything either. Eternity will grind you into dust and I'm just a small gear in that process now. If killing you makes me stronger, I will need an eternity. Now be gone. I wish it would take you would let you take a look at... Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh... Grants the hero plus one resurrection with full healing. 2% chance to get a whole resource sphere instead of a chunk. Resources cap and the expedition is increased by 50%. Or an assortment of resources. I have a cap? Is this capped out? I guess I need this done. I'm not sure. Uh, we're gonna stay a little. We're gonna do one more loop, I think. Is this capped? I've no idea what this means, but also 10% vampirism and worse than what I currently have. For fuck's sake. If I die now, it will be very, very salty, by the way. <laughs> oh my god, 20% evasion. What a perfect ring. 28% speed. I can always keep using my Oblivion to heal myself up again. Ooh. Dude, come on, take a look at that. Oh shit, I can't. Oh no, I can't complete this one. We get enough medals, maybe. Oh yeah, baby, this is what I'm talking about. Perfect chest. Shit, this is actually kind of better. <laughs> oh wait, I have a trade, I have a trade. Trade, yeah I know, sorry. Forgot how to make blood paths. Isn't it two battlefields next to each other? I remember them being neat. Oh, I did this before accidentally. Uh, every counter heals the hero for. I have 15% counter. Yeah, let's take this one out. I mean, counter and evade. Kind of like. cancelling each other out in a way? I don't know which one rolls first. I'm countering and evading right now. My sustainability. It's pretty good. I can 
just plays shit now. It's glitches. Am I capped out on these now? Is this what it means or? I thought I increased my my resource capacity. I have 27 and 40 is my max, is that it? Maybe? Why do I not get any more stable metal and food supplies then? Or whatever. Um, what, what did it say? If I... Click and hold to automatically return to the camp at the campfire tile. So now I will, the next time I reach it, I will return, right? I can just take my hand off from the mouse now. Ooh, do I? <laughs> yeah, I kind of do, I guess. Not gonna be able to fill up these treasuries. Ooh. I'm healing up quite a lot just by walking, it's so funny. Bye Blaze, bye. Thrillers have been here for an hour and a half, I'm gonna do something else. Well, by something else, I guess he meant something more productive. Not to lose my last oblivion here. Which is okay. Um, God, I still have to defeat quite some shit on the way, though. Let's hope this was for the best. I'm not too sure. This might be what kills me, actually. God, I'm circling through the items now. Dying somehow. Look, we can heal ourselves up now. We can basically like, secure our. Oh, I failed the quest, but who cares? I will retreat now. <clears throat> I did defeat the boss after all. Good. I have a lot of shit now. How long am I gonna continue? Like maybe one or two more loops. I don't need another farm. I could build a smelter su supply depot. That's what uh, Emil said earlier. I should build. Damn, could have made like three or four stones. What do you mean? Abuse Oblivion for resources. How could I have abused it for resources? Well, whatever. <clears throat> the appraiser will be happy to identify all the strange things you find on the road and pass them on to the people who need them the most. Unlock the supply feature. From now on, you will start finding useful supply items for the people in the camp. Unlocks the ability to craft supply items if you have the necessary buildings. Unlocks the ruins card. That sounds like something I should invest in rather sooner than later. Good news, Billy Eilish. <laughs> We've come up with a list of things we need. I can't say they're all absolutely necessary, but they would make our lives a bit better. We can't keep eating dirt while sitting on dirt and then go to sleep on the same, you know, dirt. I'm exaggerating, of course. Just want you to get the idea. If you stumble upon a good piece of furniture or tool or anything else of use, remember you found it and accompany a horse carriage there. Make sure your findings go to the people who need it the most. Okay, supply. <clears throat> what? <laughs> okay, I have no idea. Uh, craft. I could craft food. 
The meats do? Receive additional 5 HP while passing through a village. Okay. I guess I equip this now. Over here. So this is basically like another trait uh, function, I guess. You can make items or better find them in expeditions. There are like four items that are worth it. Equip them for permanent bo Permanent boner is always good, in my opinion. I kind of want to upgrade a building. Soonish. No matter which one. But for now, shall we take a look at the at the new boss, maybe? Also want to unlock my other item slots. Are these the traits I could Oh! Oh I can choose which one. Oh I unlock oh okay, this didn't give me the thing earlier. It unlocked the trait for me. Hence why it was full on supplies in, in some okay, okay, I get it now. Sorry, I need to drink something again. Man. <clears throat> really, really parched today somehow. Really, really dry throat. Maybe I'm dying. Who knows? Uh, did I unlock anything? I did unlock the ruins, of course. This existence of this civilization ended long before the religious curse, but its remains can still be of use to you. It gives a random basic resource shard when passing through it and spawns a scorch worm every two days. Hmm. What would we take out of it, though? Kind of like the vampire mentioned, due to the interaction with the village. Uh, the grove I need for the blood grove. Maybe the cemetery. And we're gonna try out chapter 2. Enemies have 1 to 2 abilities. 40% bonus resource. Max amount of resource is 20 now instead of 10. Okay, <clears throat> let's see this angel in action. Come on. Where do we build it? Over here, I guess? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, what did I get there? What was that? <laughs> some, some defense calculation. Okay. Alright, now before I uh, put the village down, I'm gonna wait to get a vampire mansion. Slime's now debuff you. Oh, is that? Oh, here we go. Corrosive structure. Each attack lowest target's defense by 0.6 points until the end of the battle. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Interesting, definitely. Somewhat interesting, I would say. Slightly off interest. Ruins. We just place them randomly. Maybe here? <laughs> I don't know. Just gonna continue this. More ruins, please. Well, every enemy has an ability now. It's gonna be good. Corpse Eater, instead of attacking, can devour a random corpse to dis restore 25% max HP. A random corpse, so a dead enemy, I guess. Bloody pet summons bats after health drops below 50%. Oh god, oh my god. Yeah, I can tell already that this is gonna be slightly different. I'm almost dead, actually. <laughs> what? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what, what do the bats do? Maddening noises. All other creatures without disability get the ringing in the ears debuff with 10% chance of interrupting their attacks. Yeah, yeah, okay, chill down. Chill out, chill out, chill out. Hey, 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 hey. Stop. Stop. Getting a little bit too hard now, okay? 
Um, I need to heal here. I desperately need to heal, actually. I think we're gonna die in a second. What's going on? The vampires are so strong. I need some vampirism. I didn't pay attention to my items for like a second. And this is what's killing me, are you serious? Oh god. They look a little bit menacing, like these penises over there. Okay, vampirism. I need some vampirism. Also need a battlefield. Uh, the blood growth is gonna be over here, so if I put the battlefield here. <laughs> I'm tempted to delete one of them just to get through this. I think I will have to. Insufficient suck. It's a bit of a jump in difficulty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, you just die. I, I won't just. Oh my god. I will delete this room. I'm sorry. But the king slime and the, like, penis worm? What's it called? The scorch worm? Damn, that sprite looks cool though. Archer takes part in battles on adjacent tiles. What? <laughs> Retreats. 40% chance to flee instead of being killed. And the slime. It's same ability, but like, loads of HP. Okay. Oh my god, look at this. Windfall, evasion and vampirism. Good, 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 good. Okay, it's two road lanterns as well. Exactly what I need. I need to finish my mountain peak. Oh, a treasury. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Oh, this this battle is crazy. The one against five enemies every time. But somehow I'm doing it. Oh, not the goblins! I hate you! Fuck you, goblins! <laughs> Fuck you! They're so strong! Oh god, now three of these dick worms. Man, the game, I thought the game, like, alright, this is the game, like, everything else is gonna be more of the same. No! Suddenly it jumps in difficulty, it gives you like four ways to permanently customize a character and it's a little bit crazy to be honest. I'm gonna have to get some get better damage going, I think. So I can kill my enemies the enemies faster. I'm gonna die in a second. The question is do I delete this? Really? <laughs> so I can survive a little bit longer. Or do I... Uh, you know what? Yeah, fuck it. J I'm doing just that. Fuck it and fuck you, ruins. Alright, that's... That's what I wanted. Wait, what do the dogs do? Annoying. 20% chance to cause bleeding to deal 16 damage after every attack. After every single attack! For the next three seconds. Holy shit! These are crazy now. Oh, 
Gonna have to retreat soon. I'm afraid I won't be. I'm, I, I won't even be able to see the boss. I think I'm having a stroke. Sorry. Oh yeah, this. I should have deleted the goblin camp. What the fuck was I doing? Lambda luck strikes again. Luck? I'm not sure what call it that. You know. Oh my god. Kill these fools. Yeah, one shot them. Come on. Um. I need some rocks. That's probably. Oh god, I'm gonna die now. No, I'm gonna die now. Oh, I didn't die. Do I retreat immediately? <laughs> Do I 32 HP? He's yet to spend the skill point. Oh my god, thank you, Pyro, the trade! Blue is having Blue is having a stroke himself. Um Oh, I need to get the article of protection to get through this now. I need to get this now. Okay. Oh everything is smooth sailing suddenly. Now the game is boring. Oh no. I'm gonna eat my words yet! The bandits! They're quite crazy! Oh my good lord! Um. Oh, we're, we're about to get into a new day though, so if I survive the quest scarecrow. Which I did just now. Oh god, now it's gonna kill me. The quest scarecrow was too much for me. It's okay, I'm gonna retreat. I don't think there's anything I can build. So we're just gonna go out again. Like this time I'm a little bit better prepared, I would say. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm just not good enough for this one yet. Who knows? Maybe I should grind more. I think this is the name of the game, right? Grind Hero? Is that it? Here and here. Okay. You fur fur need that bandit camp gone. That's dangerous. I, I do what? They stole the weapon. What do you mean they stole the weapon? Who stole the weapon? The game makes a loud ass noise and blinks intensely. Not intense enough for me, I'm very sorry, I'm old, okay? It needs to just give me a big text on the screen saying TRADE POINT! Then maybe I would notice 50% of the time. Maybe, okay? It's not a given. What do I... Well, yeah, I don't know if this works yet. Bandit stole your weapon, you might have survived if, if I notice. How do I... Wait, 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 they can just permanently get rid of your weapon? What? That's a little bit unfair. And I don't use that word lightly. Ooh. Sure. I just like the color orange. What can I say? When I see an orange item, I'm happy. The game <laughs> starts to remind me of Lobo to be cooperation with the amount of restarts. Imagine if I only had one free restart. And then I had to fully, like, begin from the beginning again <laughs> with this game. <laughs> that would be horrible. Oh god, yeah. Please. 
Yes. I'm in a good spot now, I think, for the beginning. Um, 40% vampirism. It's, it's good sustainability, I would say. I'm gonna continue on. Like, if I die in this one, I'm, I'm gonna die in real life, okay? I'm gonna stop streaming for today. I don't. I don't. Yeah, you, why, why are you guys using these weird ass. Uh, abbreviations. I I D G I. I don't get something. Why you use Oblivion on Treasuries? The goggles are super chill on Chapter One or C H One. Whatever this means, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I just don't like goggles. I said it earlier. It's because they're French. I usually see my trade points just before I get the next one. <laughs> that could be me. I don't get it. And me neither, Arcane. That's a joke, by the way. I do understand that you just explained what IDGI meant, but, like, I, yeah. Explaining my joke doesn't make it funny, but I'm afraid of people thinking that I seriously don't get that you explained it to me just now. Who, who abbreviates I don't get it, though? Seriously, how lazy can you be? <laughs> but then I guess, like, 90% of your Zoom is right. And apparently Sumas are the lazy generation, I don't know. That's what I heard. Okay, I don't know if it's true. But I would I would argue that, yeah, it's probably true. And like if you're a French Sumer, fucking hell. <laughs> uh, is it allowed to make fun of a nation of people, actually? Or on Twitch or general? I don't know. Oh my god, look at that ring. Evasion and vampirism. Can I make fun of a nation or can I make fun of a language? Can I make fun of people speaking French or can I make fun of people coming out of France? All with Fre like French heritage. Who can I make fun of these days actually anymore? Like seriously, I, I need to make fun of someone to distract myself from the fact that I'm a loser <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> Please, someone help me. Am I further along than before? I think I am. I haven't placed anything yet as well. Um, the vampires were kind of scary, to be honest. <laughs> okay, some ruins. Alright, not gonna make the mistake of placing them. Next to some other shit again. I'll place them over here. It's super common. I see itgi everywhere. I've never seen itgi yet. <laughs> Me neither. That's a problem. Lambda. I will never forgive the French. Is that a JoJo reference? I believe it is, isn't it? Wait. It's evasion. An evasion. Yes. Um, I would lose evasion. Get regent. No, thank you. This is so hard. Like the, the bleeding effect. It is the new one for me. I don't know. Is the one I usually see. Yes, yes. I don't know. This one I recognize. It escaped. Mm, interesting. I have a blood grove already, I, I might as well just, just do this. Hmm. <clears throat> Should I upgrade a weapon? I think it will. I need to be wary of bandits, right? 
they can steal my weapon. I need to read the ability. What can a scarecrow do? Shit, I should have read that too. Wait, 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 wait. This is crazy good. Can't equip this. The scarecrow is a wide swing. 30% of creatures' damage is dealt to everyone on the battlefield. Hey, scarecrows are cool! I kinda want more scarecrows then, I guess. I should use up this mountain ring. Really. Oh shit, why didn't I place it like I did before? I'm an idiot. Fuck. <laughs> well, whatever. Okay, quest slime, here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Now Harpies will spawn. Never relax around Harpies. Oh. No. <clears throat> oh shit, there's a goblin camp. Hmm. Why is the game so hard suddenly? Goblins had rage before, didn't they? So they goblins are not any harder than they were, it feels like. Can't believe that I say this, but goblins are kinda alright. Okay, not a hmm. Not a battlefield. I just wanna place it here. Then again I My blood growth already on my cozy camp. I need another village, desperately. Um, bye, Blue. Have a good hamburger, I assume. Splinters! Every fourth attack that hits the chest will hurt the attacker for 5% of the max HP. Oh, fuck you! Um. Mm, nope. Trade point waiting. <laughs> Sorry. Survivalist. Blade of Dawn is strong aftertaste. The hero deals 1.5 damage for every potion used since this trade is taken. That's a weird one. It could potentially be incredibly strong. Then again, like it, it restores the potions every every loop. So that's at most it's 4.5 damage per loop I could get. But since everything else is dog shit as well, I'm gonna take it. It's bound to happen that I use these. And if I get a little bit da more damage out of it, well, great. Um, I'm gonna keep this if I get some bandits actually. Oh wow, oh wow, this weapon. Watch me not using my potions at all and dying in a single fight or something. 12% evasion. Yeah. Not this one. 17% vampirism. Yes! Please. I just want to see the boss of this. Like, I'm not gonna retreat if possible. And then we're gonna end for today. And next stream, I'm gonna defeat the next boss. Then. I'm not gonna finish this game, will I? It's far too long for a stream game, is it? I assume it's very grindy. Didn't plan on getting this switch. Guess I'll find out how hard gargoyles are on level 2. <laughs> it's another good weapon. I might keep this in case my weapon gets stolen. Oh god, so many good weapons. Which one is better, actually? This one's better. 
Is this one better than what I have? It's slightly better than what I have even. Interesting. But I won't equip it yet. Um, place it place over here. I want a... Hmm. Nah, nah. I don't really want another vampire mansion, to be honest. Fuck. Just stream longer. Yeah, just fucking... Yeah. Just gonna kill myself. <laughs> it's the easiest way out of this. Let's see. Not today, but you can finish it with the right class in RNG. IG. What does IG stand for now? Lobotomy Corporation problem. We yet to see a virtual streamer to finish it. I'm sure there was someone that finished it. Like a, like a VTuber, like an indie one or something. So many camp upgrades. I don't know how long it will take to, to, take, to do them all. Stream three times a week, troll. Yeah. Those were the times, right? Those were the times before Babby and before like the pandemic and shit. Those were the good times. Do I want a shit ton of vampirism? No, not really. Okay, that's not good. That is alright. I'm gonna keep it. <clears throat> I want a village, please give me a village tile! I need that village tower so I can use my oblivion. For fuck's sake. I feel like I'm not gonna change my items anytime soon. Okay, the harpy has foresight. Gets the predicted buff every 3 seconds or 35, I can't tell. Uh, which allows it to ignore direct damage ones. <clears throat> it's basically an evade. Gets it a lot though. Gets it a lot. Fucking defense debuff stacks. Hmm. Okay, dinked. It, I heard it this time. <clears throat> uh, defense is increased by one after every loop. I could use this this time. That would be seven defense. Or counter heal or blissful ignorance. I'm gonna use the defense increase. I'm at 60 now. Now I'm at 23. Because I don't know if the boss has true damage yet or not. But getting to the boss is the bigger problem for now. I don't need to think about the boss's. Like abilities itself. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait! I got items. I didn't even heals one HP after killing an enemy, and one more preserved pebble while passing through the campfire tile. Apparently, I didn't even notice earlier. <laughs> it pops up quite big, quite bigly. Um. Now let's see. Let's play some shit before I lose out on some oblivions. <clears throat> Should have it, I should have del you know I have two oblivions now. I'm gonna use one to delete the goblin camp. It's gonna be the last time I defeat these four goblins down there. Oh god damn it. Oh that's gonna be a hard one. When do I use my heat? When I'm in danger, what does danger mean? Less than 30% health or something? Do I see somewhere how much damage I got from this? No. Well, considering my damage is 20 to 30 and I have 26 to 40, I must have gotten some damage out of it already. Oh, I got a village tile. Got a village tile. Um. Hmm. Yeah, so I can get this rid of this ASAP. Get rid of the bandits. 